I hate it when my food randomly evaporates. On fort. Gorons are so ugly, dude. <laughs> Specifically the kid Gorons. Big Gorons look fine. The little kid ones, every time I see them, I'm like, uh. -uh. This dude is selling diamonds? I can hardly believe you making me worry like that. Why I oughta, why I oughta. Please don't be mad at President Yonobu. It's okay, Slurgo. I'm the one who made such a mess of things after all. If I had just been more careful. You said you'd put Goron City back to normal and you did. You're the hero of Goron City. You were when you made Yonobu Co and you still are now. I, I, thank you, Goro. Oh. And we have to thank you too, Link. You got rid of the marbled rock roast and smiles are coming back to Goron City. I keep imagining what might have happened if you hadn't broken that mask. Uh, no, I can't even think about it. Ooh. Princess Zelda wasn't angry we ruined the mask, was she? Oh. Actually, we weren't able to catch up with her. It was all so strange. What is? What was that lighting effect? Now that I think about it, it seems like she was walking towards that giant monster by choice. After that, we didn't see her again. Well, I've already seen in the glyphs that Ganondorf can perfectly copy Zelda's form and pretend to be her, so that's probably what he's doing now. Aww. President Yonobu, do you think that maybe Princess Zelda is one of the bad guys? Huh? What do you mean? Uh. Like maybe the giant monster was pretending to be Princess Zelda? Huh? No way! Oh. Hang on, come to think of it, the person my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time, she said to help the swordsman Link. Now that I think about it, that was definitely Princess Zelda. I don't know why or how she was there in the past. But whatever the case is, that means the Princess Zelda we saw was an imposter. I'll ask my guys at Yonobu Co to search the area around the city for any leads on the princess. Even if you're not here with me, we'll still be connected, Link. You can count on me. Vow of Yonobu, Sage of Fire. The enthusiasm's great and all, but let's not go digging up any more weird rocks. You got that, President Yonobu? Yeah. Oh. Hey, Link. You visited Rito Village, Zora's Domain, and Gerudo Town. How did you know that? I didn't tell you that. You've gathered a lot of info by now. Why don't you go back and report it all to Pura? I'm sure she's eagerly waiting for you. I mean, yeah, I guess I could. I'm gonna do a couple of other things first. All right, we have done all four phenomena at long last. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. What's up with you, Bluto? Oh. I remembered something about that other Zelda when we were mining Marbled Rock Roast on the north side of Death Mountain. She said something kind of funny. She told me not to go near the Lizard Lakes, but she didn't say why. Mm -hmm. Bit surprised to hear the word Lizard Lakes coming out of your craw. Don't much hear about them lakes these days. I still recall an old nursery rhyme about them. One brother hunts what the other brother hides. Two lizards fighting over what's inside. Not everyone knows this, but the Lizard Lakes are also called the Lizard Brothers. Mm -hmm. I searched high and low for them back in my younger years. Always thought treasure must be there somewhere. Then on my hunt, Death Mountain blew its top. It was covered in lava before you could say boom. Boy, I'd forgotten all about my search for the lakes. That's it. Talking about this has me all worked up. It's been a real long time, but I'm ready to start the hunt again. Best place to start looking is halfway up Death Mountain. My hunch way back when led me to the north side. There's a Unobuco dig site there too, so we can hop in a minecart and get cracking. Ah, my aching back. Sucks to be old, dude. Sucks to be old. Some more arrows in here. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. I'll take all of these. Ah. I think we're at like 94 right now, which is a pretty good amount. All right, so. What do I want to do? We could do some cooking, but I don't want to cook because cooking is boring. What is Impa doing here? I'll never get to Grandia like this. How'd you find Grandia? 
Oh, hey, it's you, Grandia. Grandia who? Never heard of him. Never heard that Grandia is actually a place where Gorons used to live. Definitely never heard that and not looking for it either. No way would I be looking for a place that has weird vehicles and exciting treasures. Most certainly didn't find minecart tracks that probably lead to this legendary place I know nothing about. And the tracks definitely don't have something wrong with them that's keeping me from looking for the place. Nope. Please don't sneak up on me for a second. I thought my big secret was out. I'm gonna go check out minecart tracks. Don't follow me. Alright, whatever. If it isn't Link, have you come here looking for geoglyphs too? We're in the area after hearing there may be some out here. Link, I've been wondering, have you found the geoglyph in Southern Hebra yet? The map in the Forgotten Temple showed a geoglyph shaped like a castle. We intend to investigate that geoglyph as well. I guess they're telling me it's one of the geoglyphs I haven't done yet. There should be a geoglyph up in here somewhere, although they said south, so actually maybe it's more around here? It should be in this general area. And then there's one at Hylia Lake. Which is... Is this Hylia Lake? That's not Hylia Lake. This is Lake Hylia. Here we go. There's one right here on Mount Falora, and there's also a dragon here. I want to fight that dragon. I want to punch that dragon in the mouth. So, honestly, let's go do that. Or no, you know what we should do, actually? We should go do one of the... We have two great fairies left, right? Let's go do a great fairy... Then we'll fight the fire dragon and do the glyph over near it. Then we'll do the last fairy and then we'll go talk to Pura and see about the main story because I think we can get all of that done today. Because we're, we're only just now coming up on two hours, so we got time. Oh, this is the shrine that's in here, right. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. So where have I not done a great fairy yet? We still haven't done this one over yonder. Where was that one in this general area? Right here. We still haven't done this one. This is the first one we found. Do you plan on finishing the glyphs? Yeah, of course. The glyphs have been like the best part of this game, more or less. I said we'd be doing glyphs today. I think we only have two left, so I might actually go get both of those glyphs before we go talk to Pura. Because I don't know what the main story is going to do from here. But we'll see. Hello? Oh, right. It's got to show us Yanobu showing up. What's up, dude? You look creepy. Alright, where's Bird Boy? Oh, no, I don't talk to Bird Boy. I talk to you. I know that face. Yes, that's a face I know. Traveler, have you come to meet another great fairy? Sure have. You're not here to meet with the great fairy Kaisa? Yes, I don't know why they make me say that I'm not or whatever. It's really stupid. Sorry to say the great fairy here is also withdrawn into her flower bud and hasn't come out in a while. I got a little cart over there. She must be scared to appear, just like what happened at Woodland Stable. This great fairy used to enjoy hearing Piper play in our troop. She loved the sweet notes of his flute. I'm sure the sound of his flute would cheer her up now, but I'm afraid Piper isn't with us right now. Is he dead? Piper is a young flautist with the stable trotters. Is not flutist? But one day he took his leave from the troop. We haven't seen him since. A traveler from far on to the southeast said they had heard the sound of a flute at Highland Stable, but I right, so we gotta go to Highland Stable. Which is this one way down here. Yep. Let's get to work. To do, uh, that is spoilers in chat, which is met with a timeout. Hello. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Alright, flute boy. Didn't I come here before and see someone playing the flute? Or did I imagine that? Maybe I imagined that. Any challengers? What's this about? Yeah. You a no bad? No mad words? Suppose you've already seen the horses around the far on grasslands. I grew up taming them and I polished my riding skills. In fact, I'm sure there's nobody better than me, but these days putting my riding skills to the test isn't Ooh. enough. 
Being the horse enthusiast I am, I've come up with a contest guaranteed to push me farther. And what is this contest Aww. exactly? It's a race to see how fast you can gallop across the horse without losing the cargo off the horse's trailer. Yeah. In fact, if you fancy yourself skilled in the horsemanship department, why not take a run on my record? Nah. Uh. Ba -ba. No, thank you, stupid Korok. Where, where is your friend? My friend and I got separated, yada yada. Oh, your friend's right up there? That seems easy to get to. I think I- can I not just, like, pass you up this, uh, mountainside right here? There we go. Don't fall. And come here again. Mmm... Not quite gonna reach. Close, but no cigar. Come on, just just get up there, idiot. It's like right there. It's like right there. Hold up. I'm just gonna hold you here for a second. Drop. Jump up. Go fast. Uh, why does it auto-crouch you? Get up, get up, get up. Alright, now... Wow, you went far. Hit. There's no way this is gonna work. But I'm gonna try. No! Pull out the thing! It didn't pull out the Ultra Hand when I switched to it! Oh, game! That was stupid. I could have maybe grabbed him there if it had actually, when I switched to the Ultra Hand, if it had actually done it. I was lined up to press A and everything. I was trying to press A there, and the game was like, mm, nah, I'm not feeling it. Alright, you know what? Now I know what I'm gonna try. Come here, you little freak. I'm already, like, getting to my, like, hey, I'm bored limit, so... We're gonna try, like, one more thing, and if it works, great. If it doesn't, oh well. Oh, you know what? A spring is a way better way to do this instead of a rocket, which is what I was about to try and do. Come on. Actually, it probably would be better to do, like, this. I don't have anything to prop it up. Oh well. No. There's no way this works. I knocked him off of it. If I could get this thing at an angle, it could work. You know what? Just give me another, uh... Give me another, like, two of these. And we'll make it work. I just need you, like, here. I'm so glad it's raining now so that the game can lag because Nintendo can't make a console to save their life. There we go. And then I need this one here. And... There. I don't think he's close enough. Nope. Alright, I'm bored. <laughs> like, just straight up, the Koroks are so boring. Oh, they're so incredibly boring. Alright, where is this Piper? Oh, is this- is this it? You were talking about a flute? What if one of those curse? This doesn't seem like it has to do with a curse. Or not a curse, uh, that's what he said. With a, uh, with a flute, but, you know, we'll try. Can I, what do I have to like talk to you to sleep until night or something? Yeah, take your time, I guess, any day now. Aww. Hello. Regular bed is fine. Oh. I, I guess I'm using a ticket. Nighttime, please, Aww. thank you. Ah, oh, what nice sleeping music. Hello. Do, 
do do. Oh wait, you said something about the flute player right there, but I was clicking through it too fast because I just wanted to go talk to the bird. Well, change your mind, then let's head out and investigate the place the rumors mentioned. Let's go, partner. Let's head to the furrow plain to the northeast. Follow me. Oh, goodbye. Okay. Well, I know to uh, sleep in the bed again and then actually read that dialogue about the horse, or the, the flute, I mean. I said horse because there's a horse in the background. Leave the... Bah! Did you hear that, partner? I sure did, buddy. Stop being such a pansy. That's the voice, all right, and it's close by. Is it Princess Zelda, though? Might be, but where's it coming from? My legs won't move, my wings won't flap, I'd duck out of here if I could, but I can't. Okay. Leave the arms, leave the arms. If no, do you have... Okay, yeah, this is gibberish. Is this the right way? Okay. If not, do you harm? What, you want to fight? I'll fight you. You must be in this well. Leave the arms, leave the arms, for if not, I'll do you harm. Bet. I'm gonna do you harm. Seek the storm, seek the storm, fear it not, you will stay warm. Hello. Are you a Yiga? When did you get here? Do you need something from me? Leave the arms? What are you talking about? I wasn't seeing anything remotely like that. I've never sung a song with those lyrics. Seek the storm, seek the storm, is that maybe what you heard? Because that's what I was singing. You also heard, for if not, I'll do you harm. Leave your arms or I'll kill you. Ha, what kind of nonsensical song is that? Fear it not, you will stay warm. Those are the lyrics I was singing, and if you put it all together, seek, yeah, okay, whatever. It's a song about a cute little fox who's proud of their warm fur coat, and they chase storms since they don't get cold. Anyway, I'm not trying to cause trouble or anything, but I don't think it's entirely my fault that people misheard things either. I just like how my voice sounds here, prettier, more refined. Uh, it sounded fine to me, but everyone else is hearing dire threats. Leave the arms. I guess that explains why weapons kept getting thrown down the well every morning. They could be dangerous, so I collected them all over there. I've got no interest in them, so feel free to help yourself. Yeah, okay. Thanks for robbing all these people for me. Hey, that you down there, partner? What's going on? Tell me everything. Yeah, you're an idiot. What else is new? Oh, I got back out of the well. Out with the partner. What did you discover? Is Princess Zelda down there? Eh? It's just someone singing in a well? She's just practicing? Huh, I see. Mm. And her voice echoed off the well walls, making it sound like the princess's voice. Acoustic, acoustics are strange. And that same distortion made the lyrics she was singing sound more like threats to everyone who heard her. <laughs> the mystery is solved. Now I know why I had all those goosebumps. I sensed one heck of a story coming my way. Thanks for your help, mm. partner. We've worked together to chase two of the stories relating to Zelda. Go on and add this to your nest egg. Oh, thank you. Oh, there's also this. It's from Tracy. Fabric. Hateno Village's dye shop in Nakluda has started up a new service. It has something to do with fabric. I know, I know. I'm basically giving you an extra job by handing over the fabric, but still. The point is that by accepting and making use of it, you can now show you're officially a part of the Lucky Clover mm. Gazette. It'd be nice if Tracy handled things a bit more simply, though. Anyway, that's all done. It's always great working with you, partner. I'll head back to the office and write oh. this one up. Better hurry, too. Wouldn't want more people thinking the princess was casting spells from a well. Until ah. next time, soar long. I hate you. Side quest. This is why I, like, barely do the side quests in this game. Like, I know not all of them are like this one, but that was so boring. <laughs> it was just like, hey, do you want to hear a little bit of dialogue from the stupid bird and then jump down a well? Uh, yeah, I guess. A blue moblin smasher. A giant boomerang. Summon an even larger boomerang. I'd rather have... No, I did just dropped... Not what I wanted to drop. Game? Oh my goodness. Yo, Blue Lizzle Reaper, that's pretty good. I want that, because it is a, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah, yeah, seek the storm or whatever. Alright, so I gotta figure out something else about this flute guy. Gotta be something else. 